hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another video if this is your first time coming across one of my videos you're welcome and if you're a subscriber or return viewer thank you so much for coming back so there is a video i do and it's about the nigerian ghana police so i did a video about it that there is a woman traveling from Belgium that is going all around and she's doing the video recording the police people she met on the way so this nigerian ghana one is the one that people are actually talking about a lot so i talk about it and right now i also have another information they say the nigerian police that was saying give me money has been like <laughs> they have been suspended they have been fired though so they collect work from their hand if you don't understand so that's why i'm using different different words for it they have already collect work from them they don't they no longer they are no longer police they don't have any work they are doing for now and i want to talk about it first of all you all are saying that nigeria are corrupt you know something like that but right now this is the evidence that actually proved that that i've been seeing yeah this is a this proof of what i've been seeing all this why that in nigeria even if we have bad eggs we know we have a lot of bad eggs but whenever we get to just understand that okay we just whenever we are just be able to just see okay this person do this and it and we have evidence we do not really always not at all with no even support people like that we always come and make justice happen that is who nigerian people are but as for ghana you know this is related to boost the boots nigerian ghana the ghanaian police that was asking for the woman number is out there with doubts without being questioning no one is challenging him no one is questioning him really <clears throat> I can't believe that though. Yeah, I can't believe it. The demand of the Nigerian police actually has that saying, the woman should give her money. What do you bring for me? Give me money. But that other man, Ghana police, is also asking for something. He asked for number. He should be questioned. I know that he can change whatever thing that he has in mind before. He can change it and say it's something else. But at least. It's supposed to be questioned. This is how some Ghanaian people do, you know. I've been talking about it and I will not stop talking about it. You people, eh, you will see something. They say if um Ajana Kukoja Murin Kofi, Tabari and Kasokbari, I just spoke my language. If you see something, if you see black, you don't need to call black whites. Even if you see that it's like color brown, it's not really very dark, but it's a little bit dark. Call it the color you see. But the Ghanaian people will not do that. And that's what you just did now again. So you happen to see that this man also has something like he's not also pure. Nigerian take action. What do you do? So I'm even there in my comment section and defended that man and telling me that that man is so smart. Now you know, ah, Ghanaian people are smart. We are very smart. <laughs> this is why you will know that Ghana are smarter than Nigeria. So you just ask for number. He didn't ask for money. But Nigeria asked for money. So we're even saying that Nigeria one is the corrupt one because he has for money. The one that asks for number, are you not supposed to question it? If this is Nigerian man as well, I know you Ghanaian people that were covering that policeman saying he didn't ask for money. He make you proud. You are the first people that will come and be attacking and be going against everything that we are doing. And we say Nigeria is corrupt, Nigeria criminals. Uh, can you call criminals but you have small small criminals within you yeah that's the bitter truth the pure truth and you won't say anything about it all you'll be doing is to be trying to cover them up in your face in your eye you are protecting your country you are protecting your people by covering updates something that you're supposed to bring out earlier so that you'll be able to do, to cut to cut them off before they turn to something big you will not do that one that is ridiculous, seriously. So some Ghanaian YouTubers, some Nigerian-based Ghana YouTubers are even saying that. Eh, that man, the truth about the Nigerian man, and eh, the truth about the Nigerian policeman, 
Hey, Nigeria, they are corrupt. They are this, they are that. I've been seeing a lot of things like that. Yeah, I've been seeing it. But all, at the end of the day, that all the way that they are going, passing to corner, passing through corner, they'll come and be blaming Nigeria. I don't see any other thing about their Ghanaian people that they are trying to protect. Or I don't know, maybe you are trying to protect them or you are trying to protect your hands. I don't know which one you are doing, though. What's that? Like, seriously, what is that? That's what I've been saying. Nigeria will do, they will seek for justice and they are going to take action. They will take action. But Ghana, no, you won't take action. You will never take action. I heard about something too. I think it's about, I just heard about this thing they call Nail Force. That is the group of some people that wanted to be ruling Ghana. They wanted to be ruling Ghana and I swear, you know, like politics people. So a lot of people are actually against that group. A lot of people are against the party. I'm saying, no, you know, a lot of online people, you know, they will normally have followers. But I don't think they have followers online. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are really against it and saying some people are the one that were the one that behind that kind of group and they were they are trying to deceive them. They want to do something, they want to do that, you know. I've been hearing a lot about that. I've been hearing a lot about it and I've been following it. So they said the lady they are actually using, you know, this thing is actually what's brain problem. The lady they use as a spoke person is from Belgium. Yeah. So they said that lady was um they hired that lady and the lady is not even like it's not even Ghana. how can they not use Ghana spokesperson according to reaction i've been seeing you know, the, the Ghana people are like they should use Ghana spokesperson you know something like that these people Ghana people you know I, I don't want to talk about the group you know it's none of my business but what i'll talk about here is that you these people eh? it's not like they don't see spoke face and eh, this spoke person of Ghana English is hard, you know. They see them, but maybe they don't reach the requirement they want. You know, they may not be qualified to be the one to be their spoke person. Do you know what they require? Do you know maybe they don't have anyone they want? You understand? I'm sorry. But now I've been hearing about this again that they deported the lady back to Belgium. Because they actually arrest the lady in Ghana. They arrest the lady in Ghana that she forged. And she didn't have the real and uh, legal document of Ghana to be in Ghana. And she's not related to Ghana at all. She just come there for the, the thing they are doing. They said that it's like something like they are just, they are plan work, you know, things like that. We don't really know what is going on. So Ghana in the house, maybe you can give us the full gist about what is going on but what i personally know about Ghana people is that i think it's actually because they don't use their person like their people Ghana person as a spoke person no whenever you are doing anything and you don't include ghana you just uh you you let them out they are always coming out coming to fight anything you do they are going to come and attack it you may be using people with them or like their people too but if their people is not someone they are seeing, something they see pure, like they see like this clearly clear that okay, this person is our person, you know, and this is the person they want to use, they will not support you. They will be going against you. Mm. Even if it's their people that is their godfather than Dan dear that is supporting and giving them and like okay, go ahead and do this. If it's not the one that come out like this, they will think you are not even include them in anything. You want to scam them, that's what they are, they are insecure. That's the truth. But about this new force or whatsoever, I'm not the one that we, you know, <laughs> you are the owner of your country, you know what is going on there, you know. So I don't really based on the on the group or whatsoever. What I'm talking about here is the lady not being the Ghanaian lady and the Ghanaian people thinking, like what they think, what they think it is from their own imagination. Because Ghana normally just bring solution from their imagination, they will just picture it. They don't even waste time. They normally just bring faster solution. You know, the solution that will lead to to something else at the end of the day. You know, and that's it. So, anyways, uh, that's what I want to talk about in this video and about the police that I talk about. Ghanaians. Now, tell me, who's corrupt between Nigeria and Ghana? Nigeria do something bad. 
would let them take responsibility. But Ghana, what are you people doing? You cover it up. You just mute. You say they are smart because they are comparing them and someone asks for money. What is different? A person asks for money, another one asks for phone number. That one we even demand for what is much more than what the mouth is demanded for. You know, that Nigerian mouth actually wants a quick cash, like any amount you want to offer him. But that Ghana man we want more. That is the truth. So comment down below. Let me know whatever you think about this video. And I'm going to see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.